Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here. It is a beautiful Tuesday, which means it's the perfect time to check out the new King Bull Rover electric bike. And here she is in all of her glory. The King Bull Rover has the following features. You get a 750 watt motor right there, brushless hub motor with a peak of 1300 watts, 80 Newton meters of torque, you have a hidden battery right here. This is a 48 volt, 17 amp hour battery. There is a cadence sensor that you get on this bike. You don't get that with other bikes. The battery provides 60 miles of range. And as you can see right here, you get a front and a rear suspension system. I am really excited to try this out and just to see how comfortable it is. And look at all the levers and how it works right there. That is just genius. I think it's really, really cool. 26 inch by four inch CST tires right here will take you wherever you want to go. And you get a Shimano seven speed gear system, a backlit LCD. And if I pull this little cover off right here, you can charge your phone. Yep, you got a USB charger right there. So charge your phone while you ride so you can have the music going you can have connectivity to everybody in your world, your social media, everything else. And check out the headlight right there, 10 centimeters. They say this is about 30% brighter than other bikes. Look at that right there. But this, it's a gorgeous bike and I have not even attached the fenders. So let me show you what the fenders look like. I chose to leave them off because it gives it a little more of a rugged look, but let me show you what they look like when they could be attached. All right, if you do want to attach the fenders, you can put the front one on either this way or you can have it on the front of the tire. It'll go either way, so that's kind of a personal preference. This is the rear fender and it attaches right here and it just kind of sits up wherever you want it to go, okay? So stylistically, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna kind of bounce around and everything back there. The company asked me to leave it off, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna take the bike for a ride just like this. Like I said, I'm really excited about this. 28 miles per hour, that's your top speed because this is a class three electric bike. All right, powering up the bike, you have your on button right here. You have your plus and your minus for your five pedal assist levels right here. And as you can see, hopefully, even though this is kind of in the sun, you have your energy bar, miles per hour, tra miles traveled, and you got your pedal assist right there, that zero, so I can go one, two, three, four, five, there you go. We're gonna start out in three. We're gonna enjoy a quick little ride and you can be up to 440 pounds and enjoy the King Bull Rover right here. So you can be a very, very large person and still get your exercise in and enjoy a nice bike ride. So let's go ahead and do just that. Ugh. I think I have a nice seating position. I've had several people tell me, Mike, you ride the bikes too low. You really do. Um, so I've raised the saddle a little bit right here. You have a half throttle. You've got your brakes, your Shimano gear system right here, and then you have all of your controls right here. So everything is right at your fingertips, which is nice. The half throttle, just a quick little turn, <laughs> and you are off and ready to go. All right, let's test the suspension. We will uh, test the brakes and everything else. So let's just kind of see so that's 15 right off the bat, 16, 17, not bad. I'm already standing up and I can feel, I can feel the suspension. Nice. All right, we're in first gear. So let's go up two, three, four, five, six, seven. Super crisp gear changes. Every Shimano that I've ever ridden has been super crisp, up and down. So changing gears is a breeze. It's very, very easy. Okay, if you followed me on this e-bike adventure, you know that we're coming up to, uh, this is where I test the suspension. This is a road that is very rough. So we'll get out here, we've got the fork suspension on the front. We've got that cool levered suspension on the back. And this is just eating up. 
I'm trying to feel this and talk at the same time, but this is comfortable. It is. There's a little bit of a clunk in the front suspension. I don't really know what I think about that. I'll have to check. Now this does come 85% assembled and when you are assembling it, you have to deal with the fork suspension right here. So that's, that's different than other bikes. I wasn't ready for that. And I am getting just a bit of a clunk. That's the FedEx guy that brings me all of these bikes. <laughs> he likes to see me out riding them too. All right, here we go. So that was not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to put it in pedal assist five. We're in seventh gear. We're going to go up our torque hill, no pedaling. And if we get anything above 12, that's a success. So let's just kind of see how the King Bull does up here. 9, 10, 14, 15, 16 right off the bat, 17, 16.9 miles an hour, staying at 16, 15, there is a lot of torque. Like I said, 750 watt, peak power of 1300 and 80 newton meters of torque, so that's more than other bikes that I've tested. Some of them have 70 newton meters or 65. We're going 14.7, 14.6. So like I said, anything above 12 is a success. And this was easily, easily way above 12. We'll come down here, we'll go top speed, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, Uh, almost, Twitter is 25, and we'll shut it down. Top speed is 28. I just ran out of road before I could achieve that. You know what? I like the riding position. I do. I'm up tall, and this is kind of a modified step over. Okay, so most step overs, the bars come just above the, uh, the pedals. On this one, it's a little higher because you have that suspension. We have a little bit of a... A little bit of a rattle right there. Okay, these tires are nice. The tires are really nice. And here we're getting more of the suspension workout. We'll just pedal. We'll get some exercise. Now, like I said, you can be 440 pounds and ride this bike. You can also be 5'5 five five to 6'6. Six, six. six foot six. 440 pounds, they say this will, this will carry. It's a big size bike. 13, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. 23, 5. 27, 28, oh my gosh, woo, okay, well, she does like to fly. And you know, I can feel the suspension working underneath my rear, which is nice. It's given me a very nice ride. If you get a choice between just the front suspension or front and rear, you got to take you got to take the uh, front and rear. It's a whole different world. So very comfortable. Whoa, these brakes. If I hit them, they're going to shut everything down real quick. Nice. Okay, we'll kind of go in here. Lady, don't hit me. I hope you see me. I don't know what that buzzing is. See, and this cadence sensor is kicking in. This bike, this torque is amazing. That's 20 miles an hour. Oh, so nice. This is really, really nice. And I think everybody was right. I needed to raise my seat. Now that I'm up a little taller, 
this is a good place to be. Okay. Woo! Very nice. Okay, let me show you the step through design real quick. There it is. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm talking about right here. See how it's kind of modified? Other step throughs, it's gonna come down through here, come down through about right here. But because of all this coolness, this is as far as they could go, but that still gives you plenty of room to get over, or you can just swing your leg over like normal. This is a good looking bike. It really is. You have an off on button right under here. This is where you can remove the battery. This is your key that locks it up and keeps it inside. There is no tail light or stop light, but that front light is supposed to be super bright. So we'll check that out at night, but it's, it, it's, it's a good size. It's huge. It is really big. Let me see if I can turn it on right here. There it is. Okay. Can you see that on and off? All you do is push the top button. Okay, so if you hold the negative, if you hold the minus button right here, the bike wants to take off. I guess that's if you want to walk with it. You really could. You could push this down, four, three, two, one. And if you wanted just to walk, it's going to be a fast walk for you. But there it is. Okay. Wow. That's nice. Woohoo. All right, if you are interested in this uh, King Bull, well, $18.99 is the regular price. They have it marked down to $12.99 on the website right now. And the company says that it's about 40% less than a comparable electric bike. So you're going to save some money as well. And you get a two-year warranty, which is really nice. Other bikes come with a one-year. You get a two-year warranty with the King Bull. As far as the company itself, they've been around since 2010. They were making bikes, regular old bikes in 2010. In 2020, they started their e-bike business and they have been very, very successful ever since. So let's get this bike back to the house. We are going to grade it on fit, form, and function. And then I will tell you how you can find out more information if you decide that this is the bike for you. We're back home now. Time to give the King Bull Rover a grade on fit, form, and function. Then we'll give it an overall grade. First up, fit. How well the bike came together when I was putting it together. The company says it comes 85% complete. All of this is done. Basically, all you have to do in the back is the seat and the pedal right here. For the front, you had to put this on, put this on, and you had to adjust your front fork suspension, which was not the easiest thing to do. All right, I've never had to do that on another bike, and it was just different for me to do. I mean, I put together 30 different bikes. Um, that was an extra step that I didn't really feel I, I should do as a consumer, but that's okay. Everything else was fine. We're gonna give it a B right there for fit. Form the way the bike looks, well, Check it out. What do you think about that? This is amazing. I love the way this looks and how this kind of moves, how you can push on it and everything kind of comes together. I can't push on it hard enough right now because I'm standing here on top. Um, this is the modified step through right here. So you can go over like this or you can go around like that. And the color, the gray is gorgeous. And like I said, I do kind of like the handlebars pretty nice. And the fact that you can charge your phone is nice as well. So form, we're going to give it an A. It's a good looking bike. It really, really is. Function, how it was to ride, my thoughts about the riding impression, what it was like to stand up on and everything else, go over the bumps. Well, I the front suspension to me is just, it's just kind of jerky, okay? If you push on this, it's just, it just doesn't, it's not real smooth. There you go. See, if you go like this, you can kind of get it to move. It's a stiff suspension, all right? Um, and it was just kind of chunk, 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 chunk. Uh, the back one seemed to work well. I love this. This is probably one of the most comfortable saddles I've ever been able to sit on. As far as the total for fit form function, well, we're going to give it a B. Yeah. It was, it was comfortable to ride, not the most comfortable, but I think there could be a little room for improvement. Overall score, 
we're going to give it a B. It's a $1,300 bike, okay? They've got it marked down from like $1,900. And like I said, they say that's about 40% less than other comparable bikes. They do compare this one to one of the Hemiway e-bikes. Um, and I would compare it that way too, because I've had the other bike. And it is. It is comparable to that. It is less expensive. Um, but it's a good bike. I really do. So like I said, overall, we're going to give it a B. If you want to find out some more information about the King Bull Rover electric bike, down below in the comments, I'll have a link if you want to purchase one for yourself. And I do recommend it. It's not the most expensive. It's not the cheapest. And it is way better than some of the other really cheap electric bikes that I have ridden. Okay, so please consider this one if you are in the market for an electric bike. All right, everybody, have a good day. We're going to take this for another spin. We're going to enjoy some more time in the saddle, and I'll see you again very, very soon. All right, goodbye.